Hey guys, welcome to this week's garden update. I decided to go ahead and show you how everything looks since I've got my zucchini growing vertically. I put the stakes in the ground with the help of Monty last week and everything is good and strong. Nothing has died so far as far as my zucchini, though I've lost a couple of yellow squash plants. Now I did plant some new squash, some golden squash and some butternut squash for this fall on the trellis. So that should look really good. A couple of months should be filled in. Now that's one of the golden squash over there too on the right. Now everything is flowering and looking really pretty and I wanted to show you guys just the beauty of the garden this time of the year. Okay, let's get started. Dang it, I keep missing that darn thing going down in there. That bumblebee, the same one keeps going down. Here it comes again. See, now it's going to go in there. It's going from flower to flower. No, that's another one. Okay. There you go. See, it's gonna go down in the male flower and get coated with all that pollen. And then it's gonna go to the female flower. It goes from flower to flower. And this is how it fertilizes. So after it's walking all around the stem or the male organ, and it's gonna go to the female flowers and do the same thing. And that's how we're gonna get the squash. This right here, I'm gonna, let me get up there. Okay, this is a squash, okay? So all of these uh, male flowers are open. We have a lot more coming, so we're gonna leave that like it is. I trimmed it away so that the bees can get to the female plant whenever she, she gets a little bit bigger. And we still have these going down there in the morning. So if you really wanna see how your pollinators work, come out in the morning. Okay, look at that one. He's going on there, getting coated with that pollen. Then he's gonna go to different flowers and he's going to fertilize. So we're gonna have some squash. I just love it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this flower off. Since we have another one down here on the bottom and we have several more that's gonna be opening up, this is not gonna be hurting if I take this one off. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take this one off. Okay. Because I have another, I have a, see that right there, the tip? That's the male penis of the flower, basically. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is come over here to this right here, zucchini. You see it's kind of closing up and the bee may not be able to get down in there. I'm gonna open the flower up and I'm going to use the stem to pollinate. You see that? This is what you're gonna rub the male part on okay y'all i'm sorry i couldn't do it on camera but i'm by myself this morning because everybody's sleeping monkeys at work so i pollinated this right here so let's hope that it's gonna grow I know my hands look nasty, y'all, but I've been in the garden this morning. But this is a medium-sized squash vine borer. It had already killed my small yellow squash plant. I think it was a crip neck or a straight neck, but see it's going on in there? Yeah, but we're gonna dig you back out so we can show the people what you look like. It's eating, and it already ate straight through the plant, so it was dying anyway, so I just went ahead and took it up so I could put something else there. Okay, so this little joker is trying to hide, but it's there. <laughs> that little head, y'all, that thing, when it's born, is so little. 
it comes out hungry and it eats. You see all this stuff right here? That's poop. All this is called frass. Frass, and it comes out hungry. It poops until it's big enough. So after it's destroyed your plant in full, it burrows down into the ground. And then it stays there for a year until it hatch as the moth. Then it comes back out, lays more eggs. I guess they really want to populate because they put eggs everywhere. So this is what it looks like. This right here is a squash vine borer that I dug out last year. It was in the plant and it looks big and juicy, so I didn't catch it as early as I caught this year. But you have to be vigilant. You have to go out there and look every day for bugs and eggs and larvae so you, they won't kill your plants. This is the butt of the larva, not the face, even though it looks like two eyes and a mouth. This is not. My tomatoes, I got to get some. I've already gotten some, the cherry tomatoes. There's a couple more in there that's ready. Then over here, I have two on the vine with more flowers coming up. I have a little one right there. Then I don't have anything on this one yet. Oh, yes I do, almost missed it. And then over here I have some too. Right there, right there, some right here. So we're gonna have tomatoes. Look at that. This is what I'm really proud of because this is so many blackberries. And I mean, these are almost the size of the ones you get from Sam's, okay? I'm gonna come back out here and I'm going to pick these, everything that's ripe. I've been putting them in the freezer so far so I can get me some, uh, make me some ice cream maybe, blackberry ice cream. I just have so many blackberries. <laughs> and I'm gonna have even more next year because I have all these, look at that. I have all these growing. Oh my gosh. These are coming up. I've been keeping them fed and keeping them watered. They're just everywhere. next year and next year now, I don't know about uh, these right here this is my green beans this is my bush variety so that plant died because this darn umbrella fell over so many times okay I've got to space them apart a little bit so I can get some good airflow but They've been doing pretty good for the most part, and I've got some little, I've got a lot of flowers everywhere. There's got to be beans, so we're doing good. I wanted to put them in these here containers this year because I didn't want to have to bend over in the garden to get them because my back, mm -mm, no. Oh, I forgot about this yellow squash. I took this out of the garden because uh, I think it had some damage on it from a squash vine borer, and I put it in this pot with the tomato cage to see if I can save it and it looks pretty good so we'll see but I do see some babies I see some squash there I see some male flowers this is my habanero plant that keeps getting knocked over it keeps getting beat up and I don't know about this right here this is the um, banana pepper plant I think it's done came out this morning this done umbrella had fell over on it again so I just set it over there out the way because it's getting them nerves and that thing is so heavy I don't understand how it keeps falling over but it does but I'm gonna keep it to see if it's gonna give me anything this is the um the lettuce bed red and green and it's not it's just finished I'm just growing it for the flowers so I can get some seeds later on all of them are past the point of return. So anything, if I eat it, it might be a little bitter. I might try to taste it to see, because I think I used the last of my lettuce up uh, day before yesterday to make a salad. And other than that, it's gonna be store-bought at least until I grow some more for the fall. But this is the, um, look at that. Look at the flower, a mint. 
so I need to start getting some of this up too. But it has the little ones growing in there. So it just keeps regenerating over and over. Once the big ones get too big and start putting out flowers, it makes small babies. So you're gonna have um, mint until it gets cold and the frost eats it out. So this is the end of the video. I just wanted to give you guys a peek at what's new for this week. Look at that pretty bumblebee. Okay, you know, you have to go out there and you have to work in your garden. Don't let the squash vine borer, the stink bugs, the squash bugs, the ladybugs, anything that's bad, don't let them kill your garden. You go out there every day when it's early in the morning and you get your work done then. Don't wait until in the afternoon when the sun is at the highest, okay? You're not gonna wanna go out there because you'll get really drained and hot and tired really, really quick. But as long as you can take care of your garden early in the day, hey, you're not gonna, you're not gonna lose anything. You're gonna gain and then you're gonna have a lot to share with everybody. Okay guys, this concludes this video. Please remember to like, comment share and subscribe and if you want to be up notified each time i upload a new video please hit the notification bell below thanks and god bless